And that off in the Red Mills Grade 2 chase. Four runners over two and a half miles and 14 fences. A relatively short run to the first, and it is Capodano in the quartered cap over the first couple of lengths in front of Owen Couleur. Terrasso on the inside of Jeanne Dill as they make tracks to fence number two. Capadano in front of Owen Couleur. Terrasso in third, fourth of the four. Jeanne Dill failed to finish on his final two starts last season. Was there in single file, climbing uphill to fence number three. Capadano by two and a half lengths to Owen Couleur in third is Durasso. The odd one out as regards the trainer, Joseph O'Brien, he's handler. And the back marker is Janadil. Order unchanged after three fences. Capadano in front, closing in second to be within a length of his stable companion, Owen Couleur. Over three lengths back to Durasso. And in rear of the quartet is Janadil in the start cap. Turning into fences four, five, and six. Capadano and Jody McGarvey cutting out the running. From Owen Couleur, Paul Townend, and then Durasso, Luke Dempsey, Janadil, Rachel Blackmore. On they come to the three fences in the straight. Capadano, the returning grade one stairs novice of last spring. Links up with the first fence in the straight, followed by Owen Couleur in the check colors, then Durasso, the white cap. The back marker remains Janadil. Their first ditch, middle fence in the straight. On now to the fence nearest to stands and the last one next time in the Red Mills chase. Capadano on the left, over by a couple of lengths to Owen Couleur appeared to have matters in control at Thurlis, only to knuckle over at the last. In third place is Durasso, four lengths to Janadil. Still in the same order from the time they left the starter. As they head for the halfway stage, eight more fences left to jump. Capadano, tracked by Owen Couleur, Durasso in third, then Janadil, as they turn to Head up to the fences in the back straight. Eight left to jump. Capadano maintains a two and a half lead over Owen Couleur. Three lengths to Durasso. Good four lengths then to Janadil. The first fence up the far side in their sights now. Capadano leading Owen Couleur, Durasso, and a little bit off them is Janadil. This next fence coming up brings them to the end of a circuit. And their next ditch, seven fences out, Capadano stood off that. Owen Couleur second, Durasso in third, and then Janadil as they return to the point at which they started. Capadano, followed by Owen Couleur, Durasso, a regular feature at this meeting, particularly in the Red Mills trial hurdle continues to hold the third spot ahead of Janadil. Last fence up the far side, five from the finish. Capadano from Owen Couleur, Durasso and Janadil. Still no changes as they climb inside the final three quarters of a mile with four fences left to jump. Capadano, Jordi McGarvey yet to be headed. Owen Couleur, Paul Townend has never been too far off his stable companion, then Durasso, Luke Dempsey, Janadil, and Rachel Blackmore coming up to the final five furlongs with three fences left to jump. Capadano is continuing to put in a good shift, leads two lengths. Owen Couleur, two and a half in front of Durasso. And although Janadil is the back marker, they've tightened up a little bit as they approach the turn into the straight to the final three fences. Capadano stoked by Owen Couleur. Boat and touch Durasso and Janadil as they enter the final three furlongs with three fences left to jump. Capadano from Owen Couleur coming stand side, then Durasso and Janadil. 
All gravitating across to the stands rail at the third last. Capadano scattered the bird, Joe on Couleur is coming there on the stand side. Then Durasso and Jeanne Adil, Owen Couleur leads to the second last, the final ditch. Over in front from Capadano, Jeanne Adil from last is trying to dig in over on the far side. Then Durasso, Owen Couleur strongly pressed by Jeanne Adil. And Jeanne Adil has come from last to first to lead away from the final fence from Owen Couleur who's trying to rally. But it's Jeanne Adil in front, returns a different horse in the Red Mills chase. Beats stable companion, Owen Couleur, Capadano in third. Clean sweep for Willie Mullins with the one to three. Willie Mullins joins us after winning the feature here, the Red Mills Chase, once again. Not with the favourite Hoden Kaler, but with Janadil. Willie, we'll come to Hoden Kaler in a second, but yeah. you must be thrilled by what Janadil did there, surely. I was, because I, I, I was a little concerned. I, I didn't think he worked well during the week. And, um, you know, I thought Capadano had actually um, worked well, but maybe the trip was just way too short for him. But Janadil came right there, and yeah, that, that ground is very testing. Uh, and he obviously loves it. Rachel rode him to Pounce late. Was that the yes. idea you? Yeah, well, we, we weren't going to hang around with Capadano and, um, you know, three mile or so, let him go on. And then Rachel was going to, she said she'd wait and, and have the last go of the whole lot. So that worked well. Last season obviously ended on a bit of a downer for this horse. Yeah. The way that's begun, does that give you real optimism now for the spring festivals? Really? It does. I mean, he'd, he'd probably go for the Ryanair. Yeah. He was second in it last year. But looking at Shishkin. On the you TV that, there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you know that, that that's going to probably put him in favour. I don't know, but I uh, so, ima yeah. imagine it will. It was a huge performance, so um, yeah, that that looks like where we'll go. And looking at the runner-up, Houghton Kaler, obviously same owner as so Jiskin Willie. Yeah, he's not in the Ryanair. Are you minded to supplement him or not now? We that was the plan coming here today. We might have a chat and think about it. Um, Paul just thought he probably should have made more use of me, probably should have gone on maybe from the top of the hill rather than let Capadano um, dictate it. But then, you know, when, you, when he was dictating it, he was happy enough to sit there so in, in the ground. But that was his first reaction. Maybe then we, we need to go a longer trip with him. We'll mm. see. Is plenty of stamina in his pedigree. Do you see him stretching out to three miles? Could that bring uh, out the best of him? Uh, yeah, he could, and maybe that's where we need to go. And Capadano, well, you mentioned, I thought a lot of positives to take from his run. He seemed to enjoy himself, jumped really well until that error. He jumped too big, out. didn't he? I mean, he was jumping, mm. he was fantastic, but I think it was too big for the type, you know, he was losing, um, he was taking too much out of him, but any horse can do that the first run. I'm sure he'll come down with a bit of company. Mm. What's your feeling about where he might go next? I'm sure you'll have a well, chat with him. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, of, I mean, I've been sort of aiming him for the Gold Cup all season. Uh, we'll see what comes out you know the fallout is after that race we'll have another look at it he could go to Aintree as well skip Cheltenham but we'll see what happens he could be a bit of a dark horse for the Gold Cup but he, if, if he improves well, the way you hope yeah he I, I've that. always thought he was that type of a horse I always thought he was a, a real nice horse he could line up in a Gold Cup any year with his ability you know so it's been a good day so far Willie and you've yeah. got an interesting newcomer in the bumper as well Iris Emery obviously Patrick would love to win it again. He's won it a couple of times, run in memory of Ronan Lawler, a real that, good friend of his. That, what do you that's, think? that's right, yeah. Um, so it's always a race we try and aim a horse for. She's a very good mare. We bought her off Aidan Fitzgerald. And um, it's just, it's, it looks a real good race here. Um, Lawler's filly was second to Fancy Girl. Now, I know Fancy Girl didn't frank that form, but I think, you know, we probably didn't make enough use of her in Leperstown. Uh, and then the two, Gordon, Gordon, Elliot's two horses, um, the half brother to the Potter's Mighty Potter, uh, Mighty Potter, yeah, half sister, half sister, mm. and you know she's getting a stone and six. She's only a four-year-old. They might need a stone and six in this ground, but she's got Hardy Swan claiming seven, getting a stone and six. That's if she's any good, she could be hard to beat. And then his other horse was second. Um, yeah, it has a good run as well, you know. So it's oh, it's a yeah. it's a deep deep enough race. You know, our filly is nice, she'll win bumpers. Whether she's good enough for this is another day's work. And Willie, how are you enjoying the day so far? It's a close second to Thayest this day, Connolly's Red Mills Day, and big crowd with the free admission yeah. as well. Impressed with the atmosphere? Huge crowd. Eddie Scally, the manager here, has done a fantastic job. And, you know, hats off to him and hats off to Red Mills for the sponsorship and everything else on the day. Well said. Willie, well done. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Well done. Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers.